am Helen and you are grade sevens and that means that this is Natural Sciences. Hello everybody and welcome to our lesson today which is going to focus on examples of acids. So let's begin and first of all I'm going to show you a picture and I'm going to ask you if you could look at the items in the picture and identify those items that contain acids. And I'm not going to give you the answers. You're going to try this one by yourself. So let's go through these items. What about your favorite cold drink? A fizzy cold drink, does it have acids in it? What about fruit, such as oranges and strawberries? Are there acids present there? You can think about these substances in terms of whether they feel sharp and tangy and kind of have a little bit of a bite on your tongue. Or are they bitter substances, which would mean that they are more basic. The apple, is it sharp and tangy? Do you think it will have acids in it? What about these wonderful sour worm sweets? I love sour worm sweets. Well, are they acidic or are they basic? What about water? What about vinegar? Is vinegar an acid? What about bleach? Now bleach is a substance that you should not under any circumstances be tasting, but what do you think it is? Is it an acid? Or is it a base? What about yogurt? Yogurt and other fermented milk products, are they acid or are they base? Soap, whilst you shouldn't go around drinking soap at all, from those horrible occasions when you've been washing your face and some soap has got into your mouth, what would you say? Is soap acidic or basic? And finally, here's something that you may not be very familiar with, tartaric acid and that should give you the clue that maybe the people who are more familiar with baking and making cookies and breads they know about tartaric acid which in fact comes from fruits like grapes. Well the name in some of these products gives them away. So if you know the names of certain substances, you're able to work out if they're acidic or not. So how did you do with our roundup of different household or everyday items? Were you able to identify the acids? Well, in fact, it is only the soap and the bleach and the water that are not acidic. All the rest of the substances do contain acids. Now for grade seven, you do not need to know names of lists and lists of acids and acidic substances. You must be able to identify, for example, that many fruits are acidic and something like soap and bleach is not acidic. But let's share the names of some of the acids with you because you may be familiar with the names of some of these acids and they are very common acids and all of the acids that I'm showing you in this picture you are quite safe in tasting. Remember that there's certain products like the bleach that you're never ever going to taste. But all of these substances, although they have acids in them, they're safe to taste. So let's start off with your favorite fizzy cold drink. Do you know that that fizzy cold drink has a substance called phosphoric acid? Try and say it with me, phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid is what gives a lot of your different fizzy cold drinks that kind of tang or bite on your tongue. It's also going to be a problem if you don't brush your teeth after having uh, fizzy cold drinks that have got this phosphoric acid in it because they can contribute to tooth decay. We'll talk a little bit more about 
tooth acids and acids in your mouth a little bit later. But remember that fizzy cold drinks can contribute not only because of the sugar content, but also because of the acidity of the substance. Many fruits contain fruit acids and citric acid might be a name that you recognize. Citric acid is present in citrus fruits. And you know that although some citrus fruits like oranges are nice and sweet, they still have that acidic tang or zing to them when you, when you eat them or drink their juice. But we know that other substances, other citric, uh, citrus fruits like lemons and grapefruit have a greater concentration of those hydrogen ions and that makes them more acidic. But even fruits like strawberries also contain acids. We know that citric acid is present in citrus fruits, but here's another acid that is present in many fruits and some vegetables as well, ascorbic acid. Now that might be a name that you don't recognize at all, but what if I wrote vitamin C? I'm sure you recognize the name vitamin C. Well, vitamin C, when it goes out at night to a party is called ascorbic acid. So ascorbic acid is simply a fancy name for vitamin C. Tartaric acid is something that is present in grapes and certain other fruits and that makes uh, the substance called tartaric acid that we can use in baking. What about the acid present in apples? Well acids in apples we're looking at something called malic acid and smaller amounts of fumaric acid. I really don't expect you to remember those names because they're not familiar at all. But it's interesting to note that the malic acid and the fumaric acid that is extracted from apples is used to make that biting sour worm flavor or that coating that is put on the outside of some sweets to give them that acidic sour taste. Vinegar, and this is a name that you should learn and you should remember, is called acetic acid. Now importantly we have mentioned it in a previous lesson, but acetic acid and water form in a solution to make what we uh, recognize as food quality vinegar. Lactic acid is used to make substances like fermented milk products and yogurt is one of them that has that bitter taste or slightly sour taste, in other words alerting us to the fact that there is an acid in it. Now the acid that makes the, the yogurt comes not from a fruit in this case, but from a bacterium, a particular bacterium with a very fancy name of lactobacillus. Lactobacillus uses the fruits present in, sorry, not the fruits, the sugars present in the milk substance and it converts them into lactic acid which is what we see present here in the yogurt. So these are common acids that are all safe for you to taste. You can certainly go to your mother's cooking cupboard and you could taste a little bit of tartaric acid to see what it tastes like. I'm sure you all drink fizzy cool drinks at some stage. Lots of our fruits and of course vinegar have acids in them and they're all safe for you to taste. But here's our warning, there are certain acids that we should never ever taste and in fact we should avoid getting them on our hands because they will burn our hands and our skin and even our clothing. Remember that we learned in a previous lesson that acids have the chemical composition of lots of hydrogen ions. Now the more hydrogen ions in a substance, the more 
acidic it is, and it becomes what we call a strong acid. And these are three examples of very strong acids that we should not touch and we should not taste. So one that you may have heard of, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is present in pool acid, for example, that we use to keep our swimming pools and certain water sources pure and free of bacterial and algal contaminants. Sulfuric acid is a very strong acid that is present in batteries, for example, car batteries have sulfuric acid in them. And sometimes you may have seen around the terminals of the battery, a white crystalline substance forming. You shouldn't touch that with your hands. That is concentrated sulfuric acid and that, is, that can harm you. So you should never try and open batteries, car batteries, and you should never try and open any other kind of battery because of the acids that could be present inside them. Now, nitric acid is another extremely strong acid and it's used in industry. We produce nitrogen-based fertilizers from nitric acid. Any kind of explosive material is derived from nitric acid. Even products that we, we use in our clothing, like nylon, that is composed or derived from nitric acid. And many plastics are produced using nitric acid. Now we know then that we can put on stockings or t-shirts that have got nylon in them and it doesn't burn us. So the nitric acid is no longer present in these plastics or in these fabrics, but we use the acid to make the substance. These are acids that are common in nature. Did you know that when an ant bites you and present also in a bee sting is a substance called formic acid, which has quite a sharp taste. If ever you have eaten ants, which you shouldn't really do. We know that all these fruits that we've been talking about have also got lots of acids, but you have concentrated hydrochloric acid inside your stomach. And of course that concentrated hydrochloric acid is necessary to help you with protein digestion. The hydrochloric acid causes the proteins to begin their digestive process or their breakdown process. But also the hydrochloric acid in your stomach is going to kill bacteria that might have been on the food that you have swallowed. Now let's see how much you remember with this very quick true or false test. All acids are dangerous. Well, you should be shouting out false because you like your cold drinks, you like eating yogurt. So those acids are not dangerous. How about our next one? If we want to know if something is an acid, we can just taste it. Is that true or false? I hope you're shouting out false because yes, certain acids can be tasted but certain acids like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid should never ever be tasted. Vinegar is a solution of acetic acid and water. You should be confident saying true. Vitamin C is formic acid. That of course is false. Vitamin C is a scorbic acid. And do you remember where you would find formic acid? You'd find formic acid inside ants. We have no acids in our bodies, false. We certainly have hydrochloric acid in our stomach, which is helping us with digestion and making sure that we are not allowing bacteria past our stomach into the rest of our body. So there we have it. You have acids in your body as well. So you've seen a wide range of 
different kinds of acids today. And uh, I hope you'll join me next time when we look at properties of acids. But for today, goodbye. <music>